All right. I was just looking at the Baby Gronk Instagram, and I'm furious about it. Fuck that kid. Actually, not, you gotta it's save not his the kid. fault. Yeah, you gotta it's save not the kid. his fault. The dad's all fucked he up. He doesn't know that anyone who's a highly touted prospect at seven years old becomes nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one who's ever been the most talented at seven has ever done anything oh, ever is, in the history of the world. Isn't that great? Maybe when Beethoven. See, when you see those kids, when you see those kids that just had a, a growing spurt and they, their dads think they're like athletic and then everybody yeah. catches up to them and just destroys No, I held him back here. He's the best at football. Yeah, Who would have yeah, thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? He weighs 200 pounds. He's in sixth grade. Yeah. Well, that's because he's 15. And he's got a full ball sack of hair. Yeah. They always wash out. Yeah, Baby Gronk, a message to you. Get good at writing. Get good at art. Pick up a skill like engineering. Yes, to get work on carpentry. He's going to be a pill head electrician. Dude, 100%. the fall from grace. You remember <laughs> <laughs> the fall from grace from a seven year old baby girl? He's dude. He, his dad's making him make videos. Gonna be brutal for this kid. He's like, he's like, why is your dad mad? Cause I'm fucking your mom. It's like, dude, you're ten. You're gonna be the worst athlete I've ever seen in my life. Then the next clip I look at is him blocking. I'm sorry if you're blocking in pee wee football, you're never gonna make it. Yeah, is you, he? A, what's his position? He's like a tight end or something. <clears throat> Oh, so it's not just the attitude and personality. He actually is being... He's playing pursuing, football. And the dad is actually glorifying Dude, he was his... at, like, Cowboys practice this year in preseason. Well, that's all. Dude... That's all media push. It's not fair to do this to a kid. Yeah. He's going to be one of the worst football players in the history of football. Let me ask you something. Football. Are his it's teammates... not fair. Are his teammates all white? I didn't look at the roster. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, dude, no kid, no kid who is like the star of the team at eight has ever played in the NFL. And I believe this. Is this on? Don't fact is check. Is this chip it. needed? <laughs> yeah, it's recording. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, people don't understand. Take it It's just check. never happened. It's never happened. Uh, There's don't... too many variables. People don't understand. It's not piano. Every time you start, I'm going to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> How difficult it is to be a professional athlete is so insane. Like, there is a fucking, there is a, a, a little league field named after some guy that broke all the records that never touched a, a professional field. And why? Because he didn't grow past 5'4". True. But he could smoke line drives for, for sure, five to six sure, years. Sure, sure, sure. When the pitches are coming in yeah. from a 10-year-old's arm yeah. and it's 60 miles an hour. Yeah, let's go over to Johnny Matheson Field. It's yeah. named after Johnny Matheson. What did he do? Oh, he, hit, he broke the, the, the league record. You know? Even if he, even he a national record. The odds of him getting on a professional football field and actually being an NFL player is slim to none. Yeah, the, you got to crush your dreams now. Yeah. The problem is you're you're giving him uh, some type of celebrity where he thinks this is how he has to earn income, it's and you're just, you're yeah. building a personality instead of letting it blossom on its own. So this kid, that, we don't even know what that kid would have been. Yeah, at he that could've, age, he could've you're been, stumping his growth. He could have been good. Stunting. Stunting. You it's can also stump it. stumping. Him. Yeah, he's hitting him with a big stump. It, yeah, you just can't. You have to suck. Yeah. You got to get your fucking ass beat, but the, it's the only is, way to learn how to be good. I'm going to check them out. I haven't been, I haven't been watching them. It's dude. It's a horror show. That kid should be worried about the feeling his penis has when it rubs against certain materials. <laughs> you know what I mean? Seven, Why? eight years old. It, Cause it's, you're starting to act. It. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what well, is my dick supposed to feel this way? <laughs> yes. I'm trying to think of what I thought. Yeah. When, when I'm rubbing seven. my mom's lingerie, should I feel this way? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're kids. Those these days, like they're, they're, Actively pursuing porn and stuff. What? You know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying they have they have internet. What on earth are you talking? About? All right, we can cut that. that I'm would talking be, about little that kids. The looking female at porn. baby Gronk is driving one star. Dude, can, just, can we open that door? It's hot as fuck. Yeah, we did. I thought we opened it. I just cracked. Anyway, I'm just saying. Yeah, no, I get it. It's Baby Gronk, it's like, dude, you know, have no idea what he's going to grow up into. It's abuse. 
It is. It's child abuse. You're cutting off his personality development. I don't understand why NFL teams endorse it. Or they need followers. Everybody needs money. I guess there's like some type of give and take. I don't know. Gronk is, you know, a, a, a specially trained. Like he's. <laughs> the he's, actual Gronk. Yeah, actual Gronk. He's like a very, you know, he's a, he's a golden retriever as a person. I just and he's a delight. I love the guy. I think he's fun. I don't like him. Yeah, because he's you know. And I, ordinarily, I wouldn't say this, but I had a couple of drinks on the flight, and I just do not. <laughs> I will not watch Fox NFL Sunday because yeah. he's on it. I it's can't so corny. stand listening to him talk. I can't stand the personality that he's been for his whole career. It's just like, I, dude, you're you're amazing. You're wonderful. This is so weird. I hate you so much. I always think of. Brad, Terry Bradshaw at a, uh, a steakhouse strip, strip club. <laughs> getting, yeah, getting hit on by a hooker. Yeah. Uh, he just has that persona where like he, he picks up hookers at steakhouses. Yeah. We've talked about this before. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like he gets real slimy off, off camera. Of course. Like dude. Chris Berman had that for me too. Chris Berman dude, looks like a guy that, much like, like what they do in a bedroom is probably horrendous. Yes. Yeah, just yeah. shoving candles up their ass. Oh and like, my god! Yeah, yeah. Just and having these little Japanese girls walk on their nuts with heels. A hundred percent. Berman, a hundred percent. Berman puts fucking jumper cables on his nipples and just. He Berman's can done own. the weirdest. Like that guy's in a full baby outfit. <laughs> like hundred percent. Berman is yeah. disgusting. Gusting. Oh God! He's up there with Russell Brand as far as just guaranteed rapists. Rus Russell Brand just always looks wet. <laughs> you ever you ever meet somebody that just looks wet all the time? Yeah, <laughs> there's a comic we know that'll tell yeah, you on yeah, camera. Yeah. <laughs> always wet. Yes, <laughs> it's like natural oils coming off their skull from not showering and shit. Uh, dude, it, Russell Brand is the clinic because people are always like, it's always the quiet ones. Yeah, it's always <laughs> the ones you least There's expect. There's some wild perverts. Let me tell you something. <laughs> it fucking isn't. It is exactly the guy that you thought it was, yeah. and he's been doing it in your face for yeah. 20 years. Yeah, he is the biggest <laughs> scumbag in the world, and we've said this before. <laughs> Thespians can't spot a rapist. They're basically colorblind as far as rapists go, because like, they, they just don't know. Because thespians <laughs> act rapey. Yeah. That's kind of their shtick. Yeah, you know what I mean. If yeah. you need a guy to get into Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to spot the rapism. Yeah. The rapism. Before you get into Shakespeare, get into my car. I want to yeah. show you something. <laughs> you fucking dork. No. Oh, wow. This guy can slip into any character so fast. Yeah. He must be an actor and certainly not a rapist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to catch most rapists. He just goes, yeah. who's teaching improv in this town? Yes. That guy, check his basement. Exactly. Anyone who's like a really good character actor yeah. is molesting women. Yeah. That's why... <laughs> Daniel Day Pervert. <laughs> Daniel Day Rapist. Yeah, God that's why it. the only safe super actors are the ones that are kind of themselves in every movie. Yeah. Yeah, they're good guys. Because then you know their range isn't that big. Yeah. 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 Well, I've been working on this Dego act. <laughs> this, this Dego act pretty, pretty consistently. Yeah. Never touched a woman yeah. inappropriately. Yeah. Yeah. There's this. There was this improv teacher in Philly. Uh, I, I forget his name. Oh, now I know his name, but I'm not going to say it. The guy ran an improv, and he was the creepiest. And of course, accusations finally came out. He was like putting these girls into classes just because they would. He would try and fuck them. Yeah. That kind of thing. Of course. <clears throat> and they're like dudes that they. They can't throw a ball, like physically. It's like it's like John McCain, how he can't get his arm up over yes, his head. Yes, yes. <laughs> you, that you should be like a rapist field sobriety <laughs> test. <laughs> for for, for yeah. thespians, like pick up that tennis right, ball. You are a great actor, but throw me this ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so true, dude. It always baffles me when, like, dude, you'll see, you'll see a professional golfer who's like lights out, yeah. and then he picks his, he picks the golf ball up off the green, and Chris will just do one of these. He'll just throw it in the pond, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck He's was just that? Push shot putting it. <laughs> uh oh, that you're the best at the sport. That you guy's can't touching rotate kids. your shoulder. <laughs> you fucking dildo. Imagine being a woman and like sleeping with a man who can't throw a ball over 10 yards. Well, they don't know the difference. <laughs>
<laughs> they don't know Women are every- dogs too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the bank account. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun watching. How can you not throw a ball? He's got ten million dollars. It is fun watching the the high end piglets that the golfers. <laughs> <laughs> golfers scoop up they're already rich women you can tell by their demeanor it's like a, a woman that goes to school <laughs> to walk with a teacup on her fucking head you know I mean? she's got no personality she's bland and boring uh, as ever the whitest of the white violently white women with pearl necklaces and shit yes Ugh. oh god god, god like love. vineyard vines type of bitch god love them. i'm so horny right <laughs> now <laughs> those are the ones i like to slap around a little bit <laughs> i know if it i is. could if i did have it in me a wealthy violently white woman would get some of this back of the hand she would it is, keep it her is, in line it is it's like uh, yeah it's must it's like it's like what heroin must be like you know what i mean where you're just like, doing it once you just just <laughs> yeah where you're just like you like it's people say such great things about it. it's got to be great but a whole life mm-hmm. you'll die you'll <laughs> wither you're saying, away and die yeah if you can control beating your girl <laughs> just once in a while dude it's got to feel good oh my god Damn, dude, CBS Comedy is not going to pick us up now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, CBS that Comedy is the worst. That future has been foreclosed. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about young seven-year-olds beating off half hour ago. Dude, what? Well, we well with the part that I was like, I, I have no idea where I was going with this. Like, oh, oh. young gro- baby Gronk should be focused on the crushes in school and like yeah, how he feels yeah, weird yeah, when he yeah, sees Sarah, yeah, yeah, like yeah. shit like that. I didn't mean to sexualize you it that like much. You like playing piano and stuff. And I just do want to sexualize something right now. This okay. kid, this kid. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, kid. sexualize a kid real quick. <laughs> no, this is an adult. You're gonna take a break for station identification, <laughs> <laughs> dude. You gotta read this. It's so fun. I'm gonna read the whole fucking thing. Okay. It's from Jenna Jameson. It's a oh, blog post one of my from a favorites. long time ago. Yeah. I was talking to this kid. I don't know how it came up. We were talking about beating off at the bar. He's a local. And, uh, and he's, a re- he's a regular, right? I don't know how it came up. <laughs> like, Local 246. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a fucking regular is what I meant. <laughs> so I say hello, and then I don't, I don't know. It was quiet. The, One thing the, leads the, to another. The, the, <laughs> I'm jerking him off. <laughs> My dick's in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> what was, if football was coming on, and I get this weird anxiety before a game, and I'm like just yelling wild shit out. They, yeah. they don't have the volume on. And we just started talking about beating off. And I started throwing some numbers out there. And he was like, what? And then I saw him a, a couple days later. Uh, he, he told me the story. But then I saw him a couple days later. He goes, hey, remember that thing we were talking about? My numbers are up. I was like, okay. So now we have this weird connection where, like, now I look at that guy and go, he beats off a lot more than he used to. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I don't know why. But now that's all I think about now when I see him. Okay. His numbers are up. His numbers are off. up. He's jerking off a lot more than he used to. Okay. Anyway, he tells me this story. Because I told him after like three or four of my birds just going, I got no calm. He yeah, goes, you want to hear yeah. a story? He talks about this guy, this Jenna Jameson article. So she he tells me a story. He tells me a story about this porn star <laughs> whose whole thing was eating a giant tin of tuna fish before they fucked. Whoa. Like a a ridiculous size. A full tin, bubble a, piece. A full bu- no, not just a tin. It was like, let me read this. My partner was to be T.T. Boy. I had never met him before, but I've heard about him. He'd been working since 1989 and has a reputation of one of the roughest women handlers in the business. He hates kissing. He hates blowjobs, and he loves fucking. He's the only male I've ever met who doesn't like blowjobs. When I first saw him, he was walking on set eating a supersized can of tuna fish. <laughs> I don't know why this makes you laugh so hard. It's like yeah. the most awkward thing you can eat yeah, on yeah, set before yeah, you fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the, my biggest fear is like, do I smell the fish? Yeah, <laughs> tuna fish. See, this baby Gronk's got no idea what <laughs> kind of men are out there <laughs> at the professional level. Yeah, dude. At the professional wait level. Wait, wait, this life hits this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I bet, was like a home run leader when he was seven. All right. When I first saw him, he was walking on set eating a supersized can of tuna fish. He had a very strong, dominant presence. He walked up to assistant director and started <laughs> talking rapid fire with a slight twang and his lips tightly pursed, almost like a yokel from Puerto Rican remake of Deliverance. <laughs> then he looked at me and shoved a fork full of tuna in his mouth. He was looking like he was going to tear me a new one. Before the scene, I found a quiet room and tried to psych myself up, repeating, wor- re- repeating words in the phrase over to myself like confidence, dominate, come out on top, don't look like Bambi in the headlights. <laughs> 
This is a porn star about to get fucked. Once on set, TT and I positioned ourselves in a dimly lit tent that was supposed to be somewhere on the African savannah. Michaels then left the room, and as soon as the assistant director called action, TT Boy became the first man ever to take control of me in a scene. I've never been with anyone so aggressive. I felt like a chew toy. He raced through the foreplay, a little kissing, a little oral sex, and all hell broke loose. He slammed me so fast and hard, it took every ounce of control I had to stay focused and in the moment. Trying to maintain eye contact with him was like trying to read Dostoevsky on a roller coaster. I could feel my thighs bruising against his. Then suddenly, all, it all stopped. He pulled out and shot me right straight in my mouth. I wasn't expecting to pop so soon. Is that all I asked? No, he said. He grabbed my hips and held me over his lap and started slamming me into his dick. <laughs> I was in decent shape cardio-wise, but he moved with such force and speed that I was winded. <clears throat> it felt like my insides were going to fall apart, and then finally he popped again. Is that all, I asked? No, he grunted, and he put it right back inside. Guy was a machine. There was no lull. His focus never dimmed. His intensity never wavered. He'd throw me into position after position and would come in each one. I was in shock. I'd never been fucked like this my whole life. I couldn't wait for him to finish. I was starting to get sore. Finally, after four pop shops, he said, hold on, I have to go eat something. <laughs> Are we done? I dared to ask. He said, not by a long shot. I didn't think I could take any more, but I kept my mouth shut. I was curious to see what, was up now, what he was up to now. He walked off, devoured three cans of tuna, and was back with a raging heart on, still pulsating in the air. <laughs> Within minutes, he was pounding me over and over in every position I've ever imagined. So I finally, one last climactic pop, he was dumb. Done. Time, yeah, he was time, dumb. Time, <laughs> time elapsed, 156 minutes. I mean... What have we learned? You think you know what women want. <laughs> <laughs> He has no <laughs> idea. We've learned that tuna fish. Guy walks in eating it. tuna fish out of uh, one of those Cento Super-sized, tomato yeah, cans, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're going, and you, every dude in the room is going, biggest retard I've ever met yeah. in my life. <laughs> yeah. Women are going alpha, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, alpha energy yeah. must own the whole place. Yeah, you're just hating on him because he's got confidence. It's just I'm gonna try you know, it though. I used to eat tuna like out of the can Dude, in like college. What are you doing? Just to see what it does in my bird. Maybe the mercury gets you all fucking rocked up. The guy was juicing. <clears throat> yeah, probably. This is like. Do you think he was putting it right in his dick? He's he wasn't Mark eating? McGuire. Yeah. Can't you do that? Barry can, Bonds. Like at a certain point, uh, these like wrinkled rich guys, they just they inject their penis directly to get it up? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, like. It, it <laughs> can you beat off and come with a limp dick? <laughs> yes This is riveting stuff so Yeah, far yeah You can beat off I haven't seen him in five days That's probably what this, I mean, we're Dude, really it, We're it, really catching up You can't You just You can't let that kind of stuff <laughs> Fuck with your head What? Because that's just bullshit That's just what? crazy bullshit What? Just that guy and his dick And coming four times It's like Yeah, but it's a good story Because it's 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 always mainstream When people are having Some, some pecker issues I know. It's, I mean, it's old as time itself. But it's like, you, don't have, you, don't like, any, you don't have dick problems. No, exactly. No, but I Neither also don't. Do I. I, the only thing that's changed, I turned 44 last yeah. week. Gifting is no brainer this holiday season. Thanks to the unmatched comfort and style of me undies from undies and bralettes to socks and underwear. Me undies has the perfect gift for yourself or for anyone else on your list. Even those hard to gift people. MeUndies is a holiday gift guide that makes it all super easy, okay? Style for everyone, from all black classics to fun, expressive pant prints. MeUndies is, is a look for everyone. Plus, they come in sizes extra small to quadruple XL, guaranteeing a flattering cut for every body. Uh, MeUndies is just about, is, isn't just about underwear. Explore the lounge collection featuring comfy joggers, hoodies, onesies, and more. All right, knock out your holiday shopping today and get 20% off your first order plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash Stuff Island. That's MeUndies.com slash Stuff Island for 20% off plus free shipping. MeUndies, comfort from the outside in, baby. MeUndies, get, get some holiday underwear. If you haven't finished your holiday shopping yet, don't panic. There's still uh, time to find incredible or original gifts with the help of Uncommon Goods. UncommonGoods.com has the absolute best gifts for everyone in your life. We're talking moms, dads, teens, in-laws, besties, your one and only. And it's not stuff 
you can find just anywhere. Uncommon Goods has unique creative gifts that's already arriving, uh, often handmade by independent artists and makers. So skip the gifts that scream last minute and find something truly original at uncommongoods.com. Here are some of my favorite things from their site. Look, you can get anything from Uncommon Goods. I like going there because, uh, yeah, you know, it makes you feel like you've got a sentimental gift. They look for products at Uncommon Goods that are high quality, unique, and often handmade or made in the U.S. They have the most meaningful, out-of-the-ordinary gifts anywhere. <clears throat> from art and jewelry to kitchen, home, and bar, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone. Not the same lackluster gifts you could find just anywhere. <clears throat> Get 15% off your next gift. Go to uncommongoods.com slash stuff island. That's uncommongoods.com slash stuff island for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon goods. We're all out of the ordinary. We're all out of the ordinary. <clears throat> We're all out of the ordinary. We're out of the ordinary. The only thing that's changed is my, my sex drive. I used to be like, I'd poke a hole in drywall. Eight yes. years ago, it was just nonstop. Now it's like it it comes and goes. It's not as control. It's not as I can control it when I'm horny, but like before, it was like ravenous. Like I would have to bend over at the gym sometimes. But like, dude, <laughs> I, this this kind of shit. Like, I'm thinking, yes, I'm yes. Pretend, pretend to tie your shoes. But you for like still 10 have that. Yeah, you still have that. I still have that. Mm -hmm. It's it's like I, it's, it's like I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> I'm not one dimensional. All right? I can fuck like that sometimes. <laughs> but other times, a girl's, you know, trying to jerk me off, and I'm listening to a thing about why SpaceX <laughs> is doing what they're doing. Yeah. And it's like, stop grabbing my dick, dude. Yeah. I need a little intellectual nutrition here. It's not a crime. It's not like my sex <laughs> drive is down. He's telling this to somebody specific. <laughs> it's just like. No, because what, what, what happens is... <laughs> it's not a crime, Samantha! <laughs> My dick doesn't no. work in the morning from no. 10 to 12! No, but I, I, I catch myself like listening, like like reading a book or listening to something that really matters to me and the girl's trying to fuck and I'm going, I don't want to do this right now. And I, and I think to myself, what am I doing? <laughs> like at some future point, I'm going to be so insanely horny and I'm going to have wasted, like, uh, my dick can get hard right now. I can totally fuck. Yeah. But it's like, I'm going to have wasted this. Yeah. But it's like, no, dude, this, I have both sides. I actually, I have The a... tuna guy does not have both sides. No, he's an animal. The tuna guy has his tuna and that he has guy, his heart on. That guy. And that's it. Instead of an apartment, he he opens a cage and walks into it every night to go yes. to sleep. And the idea of doing porn in general, it's like, of course, when you're watching porn, you go, man, that'd be a life. You know? You're just, this fucking, is true. You're I... just fucking all these chicks all the time. That's so sick. But, but you go, if I was doing porn and I wasn't on some type of drug, crazy drug, I would be fucking. <clears throat> and in the middle of fucking on camera, I would be thinking, <laughs> I'm more talented than this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could have fucked chicks in a way where I'm not doing this. This yeah. is pathetic. Yeah. And embarrassing. Yeah. You know, I think about that like uh what what what's the what's the <laughs> the famous drug movie with uh uh Johnny Depp? Oh, um <clears throat> when he's like I'm in Vegas, really Las Vegas? No, 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 not leaving Las Vegas. That's Nicolas Cage. But uh when he's like he's telling his dad He's like, I'm really good at this. And his dad's like, I know you would have been good at anything. Yeah. It's like, yeah. dude, when you're a super famous porn star as a man, you still got to be. I think about Johnny Sins, right? Living the life. Yeah. It's like you still, when you're him and you're fucking, you got to think, I could have been good at anything. I man. think we just came up with Baby Gronk. The future. <laughs> <laughs> I think that kid's going to be eating tuna fish, bruising ribs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and his dad's gonna be on set like cut. He's gonna be behind the camera. <laughs> oh yes, because <laughs> yes. that, that's what the dad always wanted. Yeah, yeah. So maybe he's pushing the personality thing. No one is gonna be a big fall. He's gonna be doing drugs and stuff. Then yeah, you know, we gotta do porn now. He's a Kardashian mom. Yeah, and then the Grant dad has to start injecting his penis to get hard on set when his son watching his son fuck all these old piglets. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. His dad just getting the fallout pussy. The fallout pussy. 
<laughs> it's, it's a good name for the documentary. <laughs> Baby Grom, Fallout yeah. Pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Untold. The Untold, yeah. <laughs> Fallout Pussy. Fallout Pussy. <laughs> true story of Baby Gronk's downfall. a &E, It starts this Friday. Yeah, man. I'm looking directly at the camera now. Yeah, it's this right. It's like a wild angle because we don't have a guest. I'm just staring right at the fucking camera. How does it feel? I don't know because it's so small. I can't see anything, but it's probably weird for them. You feel like it's too intimate for them? Probably. I'm sure Make this it, is very uncomfortable right now. Yeah, Turn if, over. If you're fucking the audience, what eyes are you making? Spread your ass. I want to see your butthole. No, don't talk your way out of it. What? Just give them the straight, straight sensual yeah. Tommy Pope eyes. I want to have sex. I'm having sex with you right now. Give I'm me the eyes. I'm having sex with you right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get me a beer? <laughs> it's the best, best dirty talk of all time. I'm having <laughs> sex with you right now. Dude, you know who used to do that? Pat Barrel. Really? Yeah, he would he would fuck a girl and then get on on the bed, stand on the bed. I've heard this from girls that fucked him. Yeah. Stand on the bed and like do swing. He's like, you just got fucked by Pat Barrel. <laughs> he would speak in like like the third person. See, that's tuna fish energy. You want to hear a great story? That's full tuna, tuna fish yeah. energy. He's, well, he's a tuna can. Because if you're a woman and you go, wow, I really did. I just got fucked by Pat Burrell. Get it together, lass. You need, you need to go, holy shit, There's this guy's nuts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This guy's embarrassing. Yeah. No, of course. He's a tuna can of people. Yeah. He's a tuna can. I'm going to start calling tuna cans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just big meatheads. Full tuna cans. Tuna fish energy. Yeah. Yeah. If they're all about it's just... Like they can't, if they finger, finger, finger alpha is tuna fish energy. Yeah. Yeah, it's tuna fish energy. <laughs> <laughs> this rules. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm so tuna can right now. <laughs> Just crush one can and go, this rules. <laughs> what a fucking tuna can. Yeah. No, so Pat Burrell... <laughs> McKeever and I wrote a sketch uh, You just got barreled Because he was such a uh, I don't know if I've ever told this But I'm going to tell it again Because we have a lot more subscribers But Pat Burrell In Philadelphia Was a, a legend for just Just numbers His numbers was were incredible Yeah On and off the field But off the field He just crushed everybody Everybody got it yeah. He was like Running through wives and girlfriends So we did a in the uh, You arms. know what Can I just yeah. interject quickly <clears throat> Dudes with money Getting laid a lot. Not Tuna can. Not impressive. Not impressive to me. at all. Not impressive to me. If you say he was handsome, when you, if you he was say handsome. The buddy from He's back handsome. home who had nothing was in like Carpenters Union or something like that. That guy was getting pussy all Let's the time. Go. Let's go. I go now. What was he saying? What was he doing? Yeah. How did he do his hair? Yeah. Well, yeah. That guy I'm interested in. What was he wearing on his neck? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you could just ask whenever you want. Because Pat Burrell, it's <laughs> right <like> here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you all the answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Another notch. Just I just have all these struggling <laughs> comedians. <laughs> struggling comedians. Like I'm in the Carpenters Union. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, girls just asking if, if if I'm a cutter, and it's just like, no, these are all the women I fuck. I just cut myself like a tuna can. I never want to forget. So Pat Barrel, we did a sketch to um, that uh, SPCA commercial in the arms of an angel, yeah, whatever yeah. the fuck. And it's just survivors of Pat Barrel fucking their wife, their wives, or yes. their girlfriends, or all that. And some montage to mimic the commercial about dogs, sad animals about to yeah. be put down. So, uh, I had a an ex girlfriend that I hired for that. He, this guy, reaches out to me, McKeever, gets our info. We get an email through our bird text email and says, "Hey, this is Pat Barrel's agent. Just wanted to reach out and said Pat loved the sketch, <clears throat> um, and wants to say thank you." What's the girl's contact? Yeah, yeah. What are your girlfriend's names and addresses? Yeah. He didn't even ask. Thank her for what? This fucking idiot didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. She was a non-speaking dimwit rubbing my head. <laughs> like, she didn't do shit. Still, still the actor's <laughs> ego is in there. She had one line. I don't get a thank you. I carried the whole fucking thing, Pat. <laughs> Fuck me. Not her. So anyway, dude, this is true. See, so this now, is actually if he was taking strings on top of your bed, 
<laughs> My ass that was just like, you oh, go, fuck. You would have every right to sit there and go, now this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah, one's going to believe fu- this. <laughs> <laughs> My friends aren't going to believe this. I just got fucked just by got- Pat Burl. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so we had a <clears throat> this is kind of what like this is what turned our relationship i i yeah. started i looked at her differently i got the ick is what they call the ick yeah. you know when somebody does something you're like there's no turning back yeah he gave the number and then i responded to the email because mckee was like dude you want to handle this and i was like yeah i was like nah fuck off pervert that's like my response was like very hardcore yeah like nah you fucking yeah. Scumbag <laughs> That's just that picture With your thumbs up on the <laughs> yeah. And uh And then Another guy Speaking of tuna cans Pat Barrow's the <laughs> ultimate tuna can He got another friend First of all He doesn't have Apparently he doesn't use a laptop yeah, He doesn't no know shit. any tech Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a Dykstra in training <laughs> He is dude Dykstra that's the OG tuna. Yeah. Dykstra is up here, dude. The pyramid of tuna cans. Dykstra's at the top, dude. That guy pulls his teeth out and starts about talking about eating pussy within 30 seconds of meeting. Yeah. Um, so another one of his agents or managers goes, hey, I'm Pat Burrell's ma- manager, S- Scott, whatever the fuck. So they just kept- Confused about your last email. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please don't tell me to go fuck myself. <laughs> What's her number? So we tried a second time trying to get this girl's number. And and this girl I was dating, we got in a huge fight. She's like, I'm just going to give it to him. And I was like, wait, what? Yeah. She goes, I'm just She was that attention-seeking whore. Yeah. You know, a bartender with a tits out type thing. Yeah. And she loved the attention. So she gave, she gave him the number. Pat then texted her saying, hey, come to... Um, Xfinity Live. <laughs> no. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Didn't exist yet. Dude, you're not yeah. going to believe this. We went, he goes, I'm- Cavs River Deck around 10 30. <laughs> <laughs> Worse. <laughs> he goes, Okay, you and your boy. She, she tried to, she tried to, 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 <laughs> what? She tried to round out the edges here and go, Hey, me and my boyfriend are, are fans. And he goes, Oh, okay, I'll get you and your boyfriend uh, tickets to a Phillies game. And it was his um, inauguration or whatever the fuck for Hall of Fame. Yeah. Phillies Hall of Fame. He got his tickets to that. And texted her and asked her to come up to the family suite. Mm. He was trying to pull my girl away from me to go yeah. to the... Fa- this guy had no... Did I say suite? I meant family bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know the like, one with the handicap symbol on the outside? <laughs> yeah, I'll be in there practicing my swing, you fucking whore. Come get gulped. Holy what a pig. shit. Gotta hate her. Yeah, well, you know. Don't. What? Oh, okay. You know, it is, it is, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Re- listen, baby Gronk. Sometimes you're a dating and attention seeking whore and you go, well, he's I'm got nice tits. Bound to happen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Baby Gronk, yeah. another life lesson. It, it, trust your instincts. See the clues. Don't waste any more time or life or energy or sharing any affection with this pig. Yeah. Take her right to the pen. Let her roll in her own mud. Yeah. Look, as much as people find my I'm having homes... sex with you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you should have seen this video. Baby Gronk. First of all, it looks like he had a stroke. Pull it up. I want to see what this little fucker looks like. Uh, uh, he looks like he had a stroke, dude. <laughs> Half his face is not moving. The kid? Yes. No. Yes. It's probably from getting backhanded by his dad. Yeah. It's probably because he's a failure. Yeah. <laughs> A seven-year-old con- failure. He is. He's an embarrassment. Dude, seven years old, everybody's good at something. Like sports, right? Well, you can see the potential in anyone, that's for sure. I mean, I was an all-star for fucking 13 years straight. And look what happened to you. Exactly. Comedian. <laughs> Love coke. <laughs> Literally, yeah. <laughs> I haven't done cocaine in a long fucking time. Every time you've said Let's this. Let's get that off my chest. I've done coke with you like two weeks prior. <laughs> no, that's not true. Yeah. When's the last time like, we I did coke? I haven't done coke in six months. It's like, wait, I did coke with you. Dude, yeah. who's this fucking young girl next to him being sexualized? I don't know. Is that his sister? Is his dad sexualizing his sister too? I don't know. I don't keep... I dip my toes in. I don't do real deep dives. This is disgusting. 
I can't. Actually, I'm praying praying for his downfall now. It's, that's why I lit that candle. It's for Baby Gronk. Yeah. It's the it Day is. of the Dead at Muerte. Yeah, it is interesting because people are like, you want him to fail? And it's like, uh, yes. <laughs> no, I want him to get adopted and well, taken means, into a... Because it's like, if he fails, that means that I see the mm. world accurately. Yeah. That's what's It important. validates your instinct. That's what's important to me. I'm not wishing failure on him. You know what I mean? It's not like it's just pure schadenfreude or whatever they say. It's like Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. The the the, the Krauts? Yeah. Mm. They they have a word for just, you know, wishing someone's Yeah. Actually, we're getting our place painted. I'm just getting a mural Hitler behind here. <laughs> that would be <laughs> so <sick>. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> just the SS in black and white, all marching, dude. Oh, and also just to watch you historical defend, podcast. Watch you defend it. Watch you defend it. Being like, wait, that's <laughs> it's pretty that's beautiful. Hitler. <laughs> I thought it was Rin Tin Tin. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was uh, the guy who hit thirty home runs from my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to be Mike Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> that's not Pat Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler's on her, on her bed going, you just got fucked by Hitler. They did get the <laughs> Phillies red right. <laughs> it's not an easy color match. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, Hitler <laughs> Hitler boasting after fucking a girl. You just got fucked by Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> He's just womanizing all of Germany. Yeah, what would he swing? Yeah. Pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> Dude, guess who? I don't know. God I don't damn know, it. Colonel Mustard. Was it a candlestick? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we turn this around. Yeah, dude, we're doing all right. Hitler. Now, hit, the thing about Hitler is. <laughs> oh, I thought you actually had something to say. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with something. Dude, I convinced New our, Saucony's. Dude, I was sick, right? I love them. You just got these. Yeah, these are coffee, the coffee ones. <laughs> Mocha. No, there's like a coffee cup in the fucking heel. I was just playing categories this weekend and dropped Saucony. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I needed S. I needed footwear. Hit them with Saucony. Wow. Yeah. Better believe I got a point for that. Yeah, yeah. dude. High five from dad? <laughs> nah, nah. My family doesn't nuts. play categories, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the arguments that would unfold. <clears throat> oh, I mean, people talk, you know, there's a stereotype around Monopoly causing fights. It could be anything. Dude, here's the way you play Monopoly. You take the box, you throw it in the, <laughs> no, yeah, throw it in yeah. the fucking yard, you yeah. start fist fighting your yeah, dad. Yeah, it's true. You might as well skip a few steps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Save some time. <laughs> it's like eating uh, fast food for me. It's like, just throw it in the toilet, save 30 minutes of digestion. You're going to piss out your ass anyway. <laughs> yeah. Just pour salt and sugar down your throat. Yeah, you know, just read the instructions. Just one instruction. Just like, throw it out. No, but save your family, throw it out. Fun way to play Monopoly if you're interested. You play a hand of poker between each round. Whoa. Yeah. What, after everybody gets a roll? After everybody gets a roll, you play a hand of poker and you can win money back. This is crazy. Yes. So Wait, did you guys just... actually do this? Yes. This so, is brilliant. Yes, because it's it's the uh, <clears throat> it's the stock market. Wow. In addition to Monopoly, this is why you and your brother got so upset when I was like, "Money's not a thing; it's not real." <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, like, you yeah. don't. I don't want to get yeah. into it. Wait till you're the little <laughs> iron and you got no money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, park place. <laughs> yeah, I'll get yeah. that later. No, dude. Cause yeah, you can you can win your money back. You can win money to play the next round. That's cool. It's not just this property thing. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can play the market a little bit. Yeah. So you're a real person, not just a Jew. Exactly. Right. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you can't. <laughs> Your hands are tired as far as that can, that's concerned. <laughs> It's real estate yeah. in the stock market. Right, right. You're playing real yeah, estate stock yeah, market, but yeah. let's not forget who actually owns the bank. <laughs> <laughs> that's topical. <laughs> Aura frames Everyone loves a picture frame The perfect present doesn't always have to be difficult to find A digital picture frame from Aura frames Is thoughtful, meaningful, and perfect For pretty much anyone <clears throat> They even come in premium gift box To so sh 
Shove all that wrapping paper in the closet, right? You don't even need wrapping paper. It's, just, it's a premium gift box. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Look, this is a digital picture frame. You put all your pictures in it. It's awesome, right? It rotates. You can do all kind of, you can just, it's cool. Why, why not get it? Pick one of their frames, easily set it up in minutes and start sharing your favorite photos and videos using the Aura app. See, that's the other thing. You can do like cool landscape footage and put it right there if you like the national parks. Visit AuraFrames.com today and get $40 off their best-selling Carver Mat frame with the code Stuff Island. This is their best deal of the year, though, so get yours now. That's A-U-R-A-Frames.com with the promo code Stuff Island. You get $40 off. <clears throat> there you go. Get your, get your frames, people. And if you're having a lot of trouble finding gifts and you finally get that taken care of by going to Uncommon Goods and Aura Frames and getting everyone the underwear you want, now you got to think about yourself, okay? BetterHelp.com. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. When you're making your shopping list this holiday season, remember it's about time to give your gift to yourself. Hey, I came up with that copy on my own. Whether that's taking a nap, treating yourself to your favorite coffee, or getting started with therapy, give yourself some love this season. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is the best. It's entirely online. Just take a quick quiz to get matched with a licensed therapist who can talk to you whenever and wherever. You can text these people. You can call them. You can bother them 24-7. Chat through video call, phone, message. BetterHelp is designed to fit your lifestyle. Um, in the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Stuff Island today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Stuff Island. Guys, get some therapy. Dude, I was just talking to the uh, made it worse. the Latino at the, our sea town yeah. the beer guy, and I was like, hey, let me ask you something. Are you, you, you guy that orders beers? And he goes, yeah, I'm the beer guy. And I was like, oh, dude, hats off. Your selection is incredible. I love how your Instagram is nothing but beer and you have all this lovely <laughs> yeah. lovely groceries Fruit. here. Yeah. He's like, thank you, man. I take it serious, you know? And I was like, by the way, uh, Finback, you you always have Finback, all their stuff. And I, He's like, yeah. And I was like, you're the reason my podcast is making a Finback beer, essentially. Because like, yeah. it's always in my crotch when we, when yeah. we do our podcast. And he's yeah. like, what? He like couldn't understand. I was like, "Oh no, Finback's making a uh, Stuff Island beer for us." Yeah, and he's like, "More confused." Oh, oh, no, yeah. no, no. Then he start, Then he goes, <laughs> "Stuff Island." Wait, well, well, I had to say it four times, obviously. But he yeah. was like, "You're making a beer with something with Finback," and I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Congrats, man. That's crazy." And I was like, "Yeah, it is. Do you want to buy it?" <laughs> and yeah. he goes, "Yeah, I'll buy it through them." Yeah, and I'm like, "Yeah." yeah. So we're gonna have a yeah. Stuff Island Finback on that rack. At Sea Town, look up. Uh, How fucking you, can, sick is that? That's amazing. Can you Google translate <laughs> <laughs> Stuff Island into Spanish? Yeah. What is what it? Is it? What did you say? Uh, I said Island Things. I don't know if it's Stuff. Island Things. Oh. Okay. Isla de Something. See, this is why. Isla. 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 Isla, Isla de, uh, what? Otros, otra, Isla de otra. <gasps> stuff? They don't have stuff. That's why you, these other languages. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chris, don't get in the way. We already had a Hitler talk. You want to speak? Isla de cosas. La cosas. Isla de Cosas. Isla hey, de Cosas. Thomas! Isla de Cosas. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a good name for look, the beer. Look what I got you, Tomas. Tomaso, he's a la cosa. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to buy it. Yeah. Oh, I just start doing a mariachi dance. <laughs> yeah. He said he's going to buy it because he's got every fuck. He got, you know when we had our meeting yes. at Finback? Yes. They were releasing their new beers on the tap at the Brooklyn yeah. location. They're in cans now, and they're on there already. He gets all of their... He has every single Finback beer in can on that yeah. rack. Yeah, and he's gonna I like have this stuff guy. Island. Dude, that's sick. Yeah. I don't know if I said that on podcast yet, but we No, no, we landed, nobody even knows. Yeah, we landed the Stuff Island uh, Finback deal. We're going to be making a beer. Yeah. We have a meeting tomorrow for the graphics. We're going to make a, a label, which is so fucking cool, dude. That's like a... It truly is surreal. Yeah. 
That's one of those things. It's like, oh, Go to yeah. your local bar request they order a keg. Well, we're t- talking to Heliums. I just talked to uh, Jerry today. Oh, fuck yeah. And we're trying to get all the, the Heliums around the country to, to buy a, a Cut this out, but yes, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, we don't have to cut it out. Why? Uh, I don't want to get ahead of the conversation. Oh, who gives a shit? I'm just saying how cool. The next goal is walking into a comedy club and seeing Stuff Island on tap. Yes. Suck my dick, And it dude. not being just our jizz. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> a real beer. You just pull the tap and it's just a, a obnoxious podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's audible. <laughs> 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 just... It's a vape. Just eating tuna in the back. <laughs> <laughs> we should call it tuna can. We should call our beer tuna. Tuna? No, nah, we have two names. <clears throat> Let's see who's going to win. Yeah. The Isle of PA. Yes. With the I and the PA. Because yes. we're from PA. Or stuff. More stuff. Stuff. Just stuff. You got a good beer name, just suggest it. Did you see the designs we got going? I did see the designs. They're updated. I don't think you saw the updated ones. I just saw whatever was in the thread. Did you no, did you go in the deck and see the I didn't go in the oh, deck okay. yet. No. All right. Uh, you're gonna be you're, you're gonna be excited. All right, good. They're fucking sick, dude. Good. Yeah. Because they're these guys are known for their beautiful cans and simplistic. They do have a design that I Finback, their graphic design is sick. Yeah. I do love it. And I want to do them. I want to do right by them. We have a call tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Until I drop them. They run a fucking brewery at 11 a.m. Yeah. They, well, they run it like a business. They're not fucking... The guy's not... He's not just getting fucked up all day. He's a business person. It's still a business, Chris. They got well, a whole what, distillery. They well, got. Are a, we their first call? What? <laughs> I doubt it. They're adults. I think they get up at like 7 a.m. and go to work. There's adults that get up later than that. You get up at fucking 9 now. What are you bitching about? What do you got to do at 11? I like to ease into the morning. <laughs> <laughs> nice black and white movie. <laughs> nice black and white three-hour yeah, movie. Dude. <laughs> dude, when Shane was staying... What was... time is it? Who's calling now? <laughs> dude. I'm in the middle of third Miracle on 34th Street. Dude, I no joke. When Shane was staying with us, he woke up at like, a, he woke up at like 11. Yeah. Came out and I was two hours into Barry Lyndon, which is like <laughs> the most boring Stanley Kubrick movie of all time. You and said it's like, beautiful though, right? It's incredible yeah. and it's hilarious. I came upstairs. You were finishing that. Yeah, yeah. That was that was round one. <laughs> Dude, that's how you fucking long this movie is. <laughs> yeah, they're on like some. Ah, uh... oh, it doesn't matter. They're on some what? They were a uh, uh, procession. When I came up, they were on some like funeral procession or some shit. It looked like Godfather too. Yeah, his kid had died. Yeah, yeah, stupid. Dude, Barry Lyndon is so funny. Yeah, I'm never gonna watch it. Dude, you should. It's I won't though. It's hysterical. It's like dry <clears throat> humor where it's just a dude who's an absolute idiot, like an Irish idiot. Chris just fails his way to like. English royalty. Yeah. <laughs> and, then his, and then his whole life falls apart. <laughs> and it's so funny. What I think you should I think you should do movie reviews. People have been asking you to do movie re- reviews. Yeah, I'll do some. You should just tell them what to watch and then do fucking 20 minute, 30 minute review. I'll do it. Yeah. You should. Yeah. You should take advantage of all this consumption of m- movies. Give me a reason to watch movies. That'd be funny. <laughs> you don't need one. <laughs> 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 Once you put the kids to bed, yeah, I'm sure you can squeeze in two hours. No, yeah. It also gives me some leverage with my girlfriend <laughs> yeah. to just be like, no, we have to watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for the podcast. Yeah. It reminds me of Jeremiah's yeah. line with the Arby's. He's like, if I only had $2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we made a roast beef sandwich on the pod and it was fucking fantastic. There's a lot of stuff I own. Oh, stuff. dude, or, the roast uh, beef sandwich. Yeah. Ooh. I like the cherry pepper one with our homemade cherry peppers, which is also coming out in Look at Dish. But you uh, get to why I disagree and you get to find out why. True. You did disagree. Happy holidays. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Ooh. was great. I did nothing. Dude, I cooked. I did so much. Artie came over, celebrated my birthday. We had some lamb shank. Oh, you did? Or no, we had a rack of, I bought a rack of lamb in Brooklyn. 
Did you see the pictures? No. I, I made a salsa verde to put over the, the, the lamb. I made a fennel salad, fennel and spinach salad with blood orange uh, vinaigrette, <clears throat> and then just standard beans. But I'm never doing turkey again. I, I stopped doing that shit. You two, know what? I agree with this. Two years ago. I agree with this. Yeah. I will say this. I went to my family's Thanksgiving this year, and they actually nailed the turkey. Yeah? yeah what did they do they, with it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Arby's looks really good. I don't know, but never shout out. Shout out Uncle Kurt, because fucking holy uh, His name's hell. Kurt? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Guy he, knows his way around the kitchen. He solved it. It was a juicy chicken. Yeah? Yeah. The first time in... You mean hit- turkey? Turkey. I always say chicken. I think they're the same. <laughs> they're a different bird. You know what I've done well, before? One's male, one's female, right? But the same species? He's kidding, right? The, aren't they? You think a chicken is the same as a turkey? Are there female turkeys? Yeah, they gobble. <laughs> oh, what oh. fucks a tur- what fucks a chicken? I thought a turkey fucked a chicken. Damn, son. That that airplane whiskey. You're hit not you? even sure. You're not even sure that I'm wrong. I am a po- I'm one million percent sure they're two different species. Yeah, because you have to. You're talking about a hen. A hen fucks a t- chicken. Yeah. No, What's a hen a, gets fucked by it. A, a hen chicken. gets fucked by a chicken. A hen's a whore. A hen is a porn star. Hen is Jana, Jenna Jameson. And the, chick, male, the chicken what's a, what's is What's a male guy. turkey, then? Murky. Which is a turkey. I don't fucking know, Chris. What's a Chris? female turkey? <clears throat> this is what you do and look at this. You always level me with some question that only a five-year-old would ask, and you're just like, ah, oh, fuck. This is why I want to have kids, because I need I need answers to these questions. No, you And you I just, don't know what question First of all, your dad ask. just lies to you, so you shut the fuck up. That's well, what a good dad does. But that's not what I do. You know what? A male turkey is called a gobbler or a tom. I said a gobbler. <laughs> <laughs> I've been gob- podcasting with a turkey this whole time. I had no idea. Turkey in the tuna can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why he wants the five-inch bathing suit. He says the dark meat's got to get darker. <laughs> <laughs> the leg is the dark meat. <laughs> I'm an idiot. A chicken and a turkey are two totally different I things. I said gobbler instead of gobble. What is it? A gobbler. A gobbler. A female turkey is a hen. Yeah. Oh, f- I thought a female chicken's a hen. They're Fem- both hens. Okay. Female chicken would be a rooster. No, male. No, male. Male, male chicken yeah. is a rooster. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, good Look, look who we, we got. A there lot of our go. listeners didn't know that. They're lying in their fucking cars. Well, their that's wives. why I want to go uh, to the butcher and kill them. Yes, <laughs> take all my aggression out on a rooster. Yeah, because won't then shut he'll his tell fucking us. Latino mouth in the morning, <laughs> dude. The roosters are definitely Latino. There's no question. Yeah, they're loud in public for no fucking reason. They're always, they're always, in, they're always in your ear. They that really, sucks. they really they are. are. They will <laughs> not shut. The yeah, fuck roosters up. are Latinos on the train at the hour you don't want. Obviously, we're not talking about Latinos and everything. You can fill in the blank. No, I'm talking it's about... It's been a very t- racially motivated holiday special. I don't think so. No? I'm just trying to get it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I keep leaving these Easter eggs. You're not picking yeah, yeah. them up. <sighs> Dude, look at my hand from burning the, on the pot. What the fuck? Yeah. Did I show you what happened? Remember, it, uh, I already had to give me a bowl of ice to put my tuck my hand in. You're apparently not supposed to do that. You're supposed to put it under room temperature water. Oh, really? So it doesn't stop the... Yeah, the burn is worse if you dip it in It was like, cold throbbing water. all night, dude. Yeah. I literally had to hold my hand up to try and get blood out of it. Like, this is how I was eating dinner. <laughs> this is how, this how I ate Thanksgiving dude. dinner. It's like this. <laughs> You were winding it down. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see my rooster? <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, <laughs> I missed you. I wish white supremacists weren't doing so much lately. Otherwise, this would be fun. Yeah. If you could just do this as like a... Remember that? That was ridiculous. Yeah. Every time I do... I actually did front uh, lateral raises today at the gym. And every time I get up to like here, I just like go like that. And I'm come, 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 come. 
just just the thumbs. If you do it both, yeah. If you do it both hands, it's not offensive. Or it's twice as offensive. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, the one thing I think Hitler had wrong is only one hand. He John McCain did, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Damn, John McCain. R.I.P. You fucking dildo. <laughs> yeah. What's his dumb daughter up to? She was a loudmouth bitch for a while. <laughs> I don't know. We really. I'm are. on one right now. I was really tired. Of an so hour was ago. I. Yeah. The gym fucked me up. Did you work out in the? Uh, did you have sex at the parents' house? We were in a in an apartment. Uh, we were in like a house. There was a farmhouse, and we were in like a little like apartment. Farmhouse. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, it was outside of Cleveland. She got farm money. Her brother in law has got farm money. Damn, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. So you're in a, a side farmhouse yeah, doing yeah. tuna can shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Bruising I was, ribs. I was chugging tuna. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. You little fucking rooster. You made her her hand in her own farm. <laughs> yeah. And and we were in this separate house. He doesn't even laugh. <laughs> he goes, yeah, no, for real. Yeah. <laughs> So there I was drilling her buttholes. No, I don't know. It's hard. You can't. <laughs> first of all, you can't fuck around the family. It's weird. It's it's. It should be. If a girl's okay with that, that, that there's the red flag, little Gronk. Yes. <laughs> Get rid of that piglet. Little Gronk. <laughs> baby don't Gronk. Don't do it around the family, little Gronk. <laughs> well, maybe he's grown out of baby. He's turned in a little. The thing is, is. You can't stop thinking about the other people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. On both ends. Like, when you're fucking, you're thinking like, I don't know, when I was a kid, I would have snuck out of bed and checked in on what my cousin was doing. Yeah. Maybe looking through the window or something. You're yeah. Like, well, I don't want to be... F you know? I do. My parents, they just got a new... <laughs> and then fucking, in the, fucking in the morning, you're like, I, I got to go hang out with your family. I don't want to fuck you and then talk to your family. I was trying to tell my mom to like get new guest beds and don't use the detached bunk bed that my brother and I had in high school. Yeah. So we slept in the same bed until high school and then she got us bunk beds in high school because we didn't have space. Jesus. So our room was so small that we couldn't get two separate beds. Yeah. <laughs> so in high school, we were sleeping in a bunk bed, slowly trying to be like I was. Oh, Just yeah. Just slow beating off <laughs> above him, trying not to do any kind of creak. This is why you come this so is, fast when you're jerking off. Yeah. Oh, I'm very good. <laughs> I said this before. Yeah. Because I would be the first one home. i pop in a VCR or uh, uh, a tape in the VCR and beat off, rewind back to where my dad had it, put it back in the pyramid of porn before my brother got home. And I yeah. only had, dude, minutes yeah, I pop off just just like tuna can man. I could do like yeah, six, yeah, yeah, yeah. six in an hour. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, it's like that scene in the Matrix when he's like flipping upside down, <laughs> just dodging my car. Yeah, yeah. You're like <laughs> slipping the tape in, and <laughs> yeah. To this day, every time I hear the, the wheel of a VCR go, I just get hard. <laughs> Pavlov's dick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, so, so outside, of like, the, so my brother used to fuck with me. He, he'd get his feet in the air and just go like this. So I'd be like, stop, you faggot. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing anything yeah. up here. Doing what? Doing what? Stop doing what? I'm like, fuck you, pussy. Meanwhile, he's just making you come harder. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only time I can beat off. And I'd be like, hey, bro, you mind shaking me just up a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I tell I tell my mom, my I tell my mom when they moved from uh, Drexel every time you're fucking down, you're like, babe, put your legs behind me, <laughs> kick me from the back. <laughs> we moved from Drexel Hill to they moved out to like uh, Westchester, PA, but. They took the bunk beds and put them in the side room. And now, like, I saw, like, my nieces and nephew would, like, that was their, like, guest room. And they make, like, forts and stuff. And I was like, I can't. Every time I go home with, like, an ex-girlfriend, like, that whole room, it's, like, weird, like, slow, like, almost like bathroom sex. Or, like, oh, you can't get out of best. your head that. No, bathroom sex is great when it's, like, hot and slutty with, like, a new, a new 
new flesh. If it's Dude. your girlfriend in a bedroom, oh. it's like you know you're not doing. You shouldn't be doing it. You 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 you're mentally and emotionally somewhere else. And I can't fucking in my parents' guest bedroom. I just can't. I gotta disagree with you here. That's my favorite sex. <laughs> Bathroom sex. No, just quiet. You- <laughs> s- <laughs> suspicious. Oh my god. Dangerous sex. This gets you off. What about fucking yeah. in public? Like you fuck. Are you like a well? What, what do you call it? Um, uh, public agent. <laughs> no. No, you're, no, you're uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> whoever laughed at that's a sick pervert. Uh, <laughs> no, when you're like, uh, no. you get off on people seeing a voyeur, voyeurist. No, 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 no. It's just about uh, the fact that, like, when you're alone in your apartment, <laughs> I just thought of a joke. <laughs> what? Say it. <laughs> What's the most dangerous? What's the most dangerous place you've ever had sex? <laughs> you just go my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I think Chip Chance we had. Like <laughs> yeah, that. It's so funny. Just the guy might come, <laughs> and then but, but, <laughs> I think it was Chip. Yeah, but <laughs> it's the fact that it's there's so much pressure on it that you don't have to. You're not expected to perform well. Yeah, it's just about coming as fast as you can. Yeah. It is very hot. It's you very know, hot on like where, if you're alone in your apartment and no, like if you're alone in the woods and no one can hear, it's like you got to do the best shit you've ever done in your life. <laughs> <laughs> but if your parents are next door, you have to be like, shh, shh yeah, fuck up. yeah, but that's like, kind of hot. Ah. Well, yeah, because it's like I think it's hot in a bathroom. You can't, like- you can't, you can't slam around. You can't make any noise. It's like it's the the mission is to have bad sex and for me to come. Yeah, that's yeah. It's got nothing to perf- do with her. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. She's just a little puppet. you know, little meat puppet. You're, you're well, it's like she's in. turned on by the fact that we have to be so quiet and that like yeah yeah yeah. Oh, the sounds during quiet sex are creepier than the, the whole act. Yeah, yeah, it's for like, sure, for sure. It's, yeah, it's just it's an old man dying in a bed. It's prison yeah. rape. It's prison rape. Uh, well, putting a hand over someone's mouth. That's not how I like p- to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to ruin this cool sex for you. <laughs> no. I, w- I want you to think about a 6'4 no. black dude pounding your ass next time you're fucking your girl in a pants. <laughs> oh, God. I missed it by a minute. No, what is it? I got to pee. The, the by yourself. No one can hear sex. If you're in the right mood for it, it's great. But but don't you feel a little bit of like now nah, I gotta really bring it. Like I gotta say crazy stuff. I gotta do crazy stuff. No, I gotta be See, the most uninhibited version of myself. There That's are, a lot of pressure. There are times for that. I like <clears> inhibition. and I think if it's all the time, you get yourself in a pickle because then it requires it. That's like a that's like an anniversary. Let me play with your butt type stuff. Like when you like really yeah. talk dirty. If you love the girl, if it's just a one off, all that stuff goes. It's just the porn sex. Yes. Yeah. I actually found because I'm in love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a girl. I found that if you truly love somebody, I, I'm actually emotionally affected by like altercations and like like a, a bitter, awkward conversation or a fight. Yes. I lose sexual. You know how girl typically girls do that much faster. They're emotionally, intellectually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh much smarter than men. No. So like if they were fighting no, emotionally no, smarter. No, no, I, well, no, just let's just no, for the no. sake of argument. We're, most, on diff- we're on different pages. You're right, sure. Okay. Well, they're done the book and I just started. I'm on the forward. <laughs> She's Every every girl ex girlfriend I've ever had, if there's a if there's a fight or something, it took a while for her to come back to have sex, like to uh, be connected yeah, sex, yeah, not just yeah, sex, yeah, but yeah. like then feel real connected. And then when it's real connected sex, it's so much better. Yes. It's a better feel. You yes. can be dirty. It doesn't have to be like romantic rose petal bullshit. You could still be dirty and have connected sex. Yeah. For me right now, I, that's how I know I'm in love is because like if I if if I'm pissed off or something, I lose all horniness. And before, 
I was just a dog. Oh, dude, I nothing mattered. Oh, I'm yeah. still beat off, but I'm like, I'm not going to use you. Well, put looks, put lipstick <laughs> on me and call me a woman because you if I'm fucked. mad, I cannot fuck you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, uh, yeah. And no, but like, I'm saying it bleeds into like the next, like the, if it's the next morning and she thinks she's cute, being like trying to wake you up with like a blowjob or touching you, I get more annoyed. Oh, it's like. Get the fuck off. You just ruined my sleep. In fact, I that's something I'm trying to get past. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. because normally, like, like, you know, I mean, you've known me. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a biblical way, but you know me. <laughs> the, like, me not being understood yeah. makes my dick so <laughs> soft. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe <laughs> yeah. yeah, so until you understand yeah. <laughs> this dick is gonna be at zero. <laughs> you better get to work, Barb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so I'm trying to get to the place to have the makeup crazy yeah. sex that skips a yeah. lot of the Yeah. You're so You don't understand you're... where I'm coming from yeah. stuff? Yeah, yeah. I'm like I'm active. I'm like that. I'm like, it's like something I'm working on as a person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah. sounds insane. No, but. it's not. I think that's like, that's how you know you're with somebody you really love and respect because you want to work on things like that and be better for them. Mm -hmm. And then in turn, you're better for yourself. And you don't realize that until you're around something that's worth fighting for. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like how many relationships I, I just ignored, probably disrespect it just because... Yeah, 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 yeah. What? what? No, it's true because you're like, you're like, well, the, figuring out the intellectual like part is doesn't matter. Yeah. So I might as well just fuck again. Yeah. 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 So you, it's just you're just two animals in the woods at that point. It's like yeah. I gotta put this thing in you so I feel funny for a minute, and then you could scurry off. I'll go do it uh, again. But when it's yours, and no. when it's something, when it's a car you want to wash in the garage. <laughs> You take you put the armor on all of it, dude. See, I'm actually you're coming, getting a shiny dash, shiny tires, you're getting everything. I'm coming from the opposite direction. Yeah, across the street, you're being rapey. No, where I'm like, <laughs> I, uh, I need to get past the fact that there's a miscommunication and just fuck sometimes. Mm, yeah, of course. Where I can't. I normally I cannot do that. There's where I'm like where I'm like if 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 you don't understand what I'm saying, there is so no future here that I need to leave. Yeah, like today. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like they're not. You know what she, my girl says? Like it's like be, it's she calls it being seen. Like she's not being seen is the same way as being heard. Like you're not being seen as a person is being heard as like who you are too. It's like. You're, you you don't have any idea what I'm, where I'm coming from right now. So when the argument starts going in circles, you're like, we just talked about this. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. to me, fucking limp dick levels of hell. Oh. When we continue to fight and then we go back to subject one. Don't even get. I get nuts. Where it's like, we just did this. How much of our day is going to continue like this? Because I'm just going to go for a walk. I, I can't. You're not hearing anything we just fucking talked about. I'm already upset. We just 30 minutes. Of my, I could be done cardio at the gym right now. Dude, don't even get me started. Well, I'm getting you started, Chris. Because the fucking thing, because I've had this fight before. Don't you point at me, dude. I'm, I'm um, pointing up. Yeah, <laughs> point up. <or> <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get me started, no, dude? Because yeah, yeah. I'll go all the way. No, no. I, I'm to it now. <laughs> no, because I've been in the fight. I've been in the fight where they're like, "You're not hearing me," and I will say back to them verbatim what they said. To yeah, me. yeah. Not only what they said, yeah. but the subtext, yeah, of how much I understand in them, and then I'll be like. What did I say? Yeah. And they will have nothing. Nothing. And yeah. then I am, my dick is in my body. Do you know how long it took the, me to. The, the softness is indescribable. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a non Newtonian <laughs> fluid or whatever. It's that fake chicken that makes wings. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm not hearing you. Dude, for years. Because I just. Yeah. It took years for me to, to actually learn that myself, though. Like, even in conversations with people. 
like whether it's educational or angry, whatever it is, your first instinct is to come up with a, a to debate them, right? You're coming up with a rebuttal while they're telling you their point and their feeling. Oh, and yeah. you're in, not me. You're not, you're not, I know what I'm saying is, but that's a, yeah. I think that's a, I think that's a sign of intellect. I think it's a sign of emotional vulnerability. Yeah, I come from like a intellectual jujitsu family where it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I need to use the force they're throwing at me to like, yeah, arm bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to arm bar my yeah, dad yeah. at Thanksgiving. So I need to hear them so clearly. Yeah. Right. Right. In order to use their weight yeah, against yeah, yeah. them. It's like locking yeah. in a perfect choke. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you need to yeah, get yeah. under your dad's chin no. when he's talking about football. <laughs> I listen well. I listen too well. It upsets people. All right. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the point. Let's go to Patreon. Yeah, right. Head over to the page. Yeah. Happy New Year.